Week 3 of the NFL season for the Green Bay Packers, and the Packers coming off a huge win against the Indianapolis Colts, even though they did everything possible to try and lose that game. I mean, seriously, this game was should have been in the peg in the third in the second quarter, should have been up 17 to 0 going into halftime. That would have basically ended any chance of the Colts winning because the way the Packers defense was playing, Anthony Richardson was not going to score anything against or like and not always not score enough points to beat the Packers on that day they had so many chances to put that game away and yes they ultimately did win because of a or last minute heave that ended an interception for Anthony Richardson but man the game could have been so much more solid and the, the Colts defense definitely just so last week and stopped or Josh Jacobs in the second half and also he it seemingly uh got or worn down by the heat but better buck up because this week you're going to Tennessee and it's going to roughly be 91 degrees and sunny so let's be ready to go but let's get into it let me know what you think and let's talk about the Packers versus the Tennessee Titans now potential revenge game from Malik Willis Malik Willis uh, looked pretty solid, 12 for 14, 123 yards, uh, one, had the one touchdown, had uh, like 43 yards on the ground, he looked pretty solid, especially, it's really nice to see Malik Willis when he's able to get out in, in, in the open and get rushing yards for sure, he looks great doing it, and even better yet, he made some really good throws, especially that one throw to Romeo Dobbs. That was great. That was picture perfect. Could not have made a better throw if you asked it. He looked pretty darn good. Still, can we definitely be better? Because they didn't ask that much of him to do. They asked him to play within the system and play as a team. It was a total team effort, and that's why they won. Although, definitely some players uh, failed to show up, like uh, Quay Walker. Uh, Quay Walker needs to be better. For as high as he was drafted, he needs to be better. He was getting eaten alive by Jonathan Taylor and not knowing where his assignments were. We're missing zones, missing open gates. It allowed Jonathan Taylor to run wild at times. I mean, seriously, he needs to be a better. Sure, he had six to solo tackles, but ugh, still not great. But offensively, uh, can they get better? Sure, of course they can. But they're going to continue to keep it easy. For Malik Willis, again, he's still not the great, not a great quarterback. He has a big arm for sure. He has all the athletic gifts that you could possibly ask for, but he just has to continue to play within the system. And Josh Jacobs needs to be Josh Jacobs again. He needs to continue to run the ball. He should be able to run the ball again against Tennessee this week. Although, yes, their defensive line is no joke. They definitely have some great guys on that defensive line for sure. Um, some decent pieces in the secondary, although the secondary is definitely more or less, has less going on than the defensive line. But overall, I think the Titans could feasibly win. Now, let's talk about the Titans a little bit. Will Levis wasn't great last week. He really wasn't. Uh, he had some really boneheaded mistake that, uh, he was falling back for his life and he Pitched it to Tony pa or Tyshear Spears. Tyshear Spears fumbles it, and that's on Will Levis. That's on Will Levis. And there were several times where Will Levis was getting screamed at by Brian Callahan. I mean, he needs to be better. The fact that they weren't able to score a couple touchdowns when they had many opportunities to, like, like I said, that play where he or caused the fumble or pitching it to Tyshear Spears. Brian Callen was livid. He let into him, and rightfully so. Will Levis needs to be better. I mean, he he does have a decent arm. He can get out out there and throw it down the field. He just needs to be better. He needs to stop making boneheaded mistakes. The turnovers are killing the Titans. Absolutely killing them. They had so many opportunities to win that game. So many opportunities. Instead of um, er, running for your life and trying to pitch it and get the first down, they should have just thrown it away, gotten that extra three points, and who knows, it would have been up 10-0, to zero, and the game could have gone better for them going further, but no, it was 7-0. to zero. Jets came back eventually, won 24-17, and again, Will Levis had a really bad game. He needs to be better. 
He is a second overall. He is a second uh, round quarterback overall. He's supposed to be better than what he is and what he has been. Now, um, Calvin Ridley had a good game for sure, but Will Levis needs to show up. Uh, I mean, it's not like we're expecting a lot from the Titans this year anymore. We're, we're really not. I mean, no one expected them to be anywhere near the playoff race. Expected, I certainly expected them to be the or bottom five team, top five pick next year, and it looks like that's where they're destined to be. But uh, Will Levis is playing for his job because if he doesn't at least show something this year, he's going to be passed up. And the Titans may, uh, depending on how a season go, may be in the running for the Quinn Evers next year. So he needs to have a big year. And so far he has not been going. But back to the Packers. We had a little tie or side story with the Tennessee Titans. But now let's go back to the Packers. Again, the running game needs to be strong like it was last week. And I think they have opportunities to do it for sure. Uh, Josh Myers, please stop throwing up on the ball last week. That definitely happened late, or later in the third quarter, I believe it was, where he threw up on the feet, and it was a crucial third down, and they couldn't throw it, and or Malik Willis had to run, and it didn't really go anywhere. Please don't throw up on the ball again. Um, Christian Watson didn't have any targets whatsoever. Hopefully he can get going this week. Romeo Dobbs was the was the number one wide receiver last week, so he should still be able to get some opportunities. Dontavian Wicks has been a great blocking wide receiver, and he got a touchdown last week, so continue to see more from him. Offensive line was certainly improved from week one, but uh, the pass rush from the Colts is definitely something different than the one that the Eagles showed in week one. Uh, defense definitely needs to get better, definitely for the most part, most guys in defense had a pretty darn good week. Eric Wilson looks great. Evan Williams made a great interception, and that's good. I like. I heard something that Xavier McKinney told uh, Evan Williams. Not to bat the ball down. Go up and catch the ball. Catch the ball. Interceptions are what win this game. Turnovers are what win this game. Don't just bat that ball down for the offensive of team to get another shot. Catch that, end their drive, and go take it back and score and really run it down their throats. That's the kind of play you got to make. Make the pick. Don't bat it down. Go for the interception. <laughs> now, it's not always adv- advantageous to do that. We've seen many times this year already where guys have gone after the interception and as a result have resulted in big gains and big touchdowns. So it's definitely better to go for the turnover, but you know sometimes it's not always feasible. Uh, Devontae Wyatt has been great in there. Kenny Clark has been great. Well, the whole defensive line has been pretty good. The only real thing, like I said earlier, is Quay Walker just needs to be better. Is it just that he just doesn't know or isn't all right up there? It seems like that sometimes with NFL players when they have physical gifts and they just don't or they miss open lanes, they miss tackles, stuff like that. It's just they don't know the playbook or maybe they just don't have everything up there. I'm not saying that at all about Quay Walker. He still seems like a decent guy. He he just needs to be better. I mean, especially for where he was drafted. Eric Wilson, a 30-year-old linebacker, should not be passing up Quay Walker, your your number one overall selection from just a couple years ago. That can't happen. Quay Walker has to be better. He has to show that he's the number one spot on in that position and he needs to show he needs to be one of the bigger pieces on, on the defense now overall when it's all said and done i think the packers do win this game i think there's some revenge angle anger or angle for malik willis for sure it's just that they're gonna the titans are going to be prepared i think they're going to be prepared to stop Jack jacobs or at least try to um malik willis again as long as Malik Willis goes through without making turnovers, the Packers have a great chance to win. And even still, the Titans just aren't a good team. And the Packers should win this game. But it's in Tennessee. And like I said, the heat could be a factor. Apparently, it obviously seemed to wear down Josh Jacobs. He even admitted that the heat kind of got to him. And that's probably not something you should ever admit to. But regardless, as long as Josh Jacobs even keep running the ball, and Malik Willis goes through and just plays within the system and doesn't make any boneheaded errors, Packers should win this game. In the end, I think the Packers win, um, let's see, 20, 20 to uh, 13. I think that's a reasonable score. 
I think Titans maybe do have a decent chance to win this game. Just, I think the Packers just have a better overall team. They just need to go through the game, not make any errors, and they should win. But let me know what you think down below. I really think it should be a good game for the Packers. Even better game than last week. Sure, it's going to be a hot one, but if Josh Jacobs can play like he did last week, the Packers should win the game. But let me know what you think. Comment below. Subscribe. All of that. Apparently, when I say like, subscribe, and comment, it means big things for me. Now, it hasn't seemingly translated for that, but just help me out. If you like what you see, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Make sure to comment. I like talking to you guys, even when I get weird, random comments out of nowhere that have nothing to do with the video. But I appreciate everything you guys do for me. Continue to watch. I appreciate I mean, I've gone... Oh, almost over 800,000 views. That's crazy. It's crazy for me. I never would have thought within two years or, or with like two and a half years I'd have or getting closing in on a million views. That's crazy for my small channel. That's a huge thing. So continue to support the channel. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. Go Pack Go. And as always, God bless.